All right, this is the obstacle takeoff drill. So this drill focuses on taking off and jumping up over an obstacle. It's really important to remember that there are different variations that you can do depending on what you wanna work on. So I can have an obstacle, I've just got a cone right here, and I can have this being an obstacle that I wanna make sure I don't come too far over. So instead of having my line right here, I can have a cone to make sure that, hey, I'm gonna really make sure I strike down so I don't overstride into this cone. Uh, I can also use some kind of band. I can use a, um, I can use a mini hurdle or a wicket like this, just to make sure that when I jump, I'm having some spot or some cue to make sure I really make sure I get my foot down quick. So it could be something to help with the the touch down, or it could be something you're actually jumping over. So it could be something out here. Okay, I got to get some height and elevation. So obviously these aren't going to be too good for someone my height, but I can start off with maybe a cone if I'm a smaller athlete. I've got to make sure I jump up over this cone uh, or more likely what you'll have is you'll have, you can take a hurdle and I'll show you some other variations, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this and I'm going to put that side down so that there's nothing right here. So I'm going to have this so I jump up and over. Now I'm actually gonna take this and make sure it's at least two feet in front. So one, two, we'll move that out. So I need to make sure I jump here and I'm gonna be landing out there. So I'll just show you a demonstration with this. I've turned the hurdle upside down. I'm on a short approach. I'm right here. So nice and easy. Now, if I wanted to work on a different phase of it, say I'm working on um, some other aspect, I could move this out further. I could obviously always turn this around, but now I can have it here and I can actually put it out there, get it a little further. So now I can jump with it elevated up. Or say I don't want to jump over one of these. Well, what I can do is I can actually come out here, set these up next to the runway, next to the pit, just like this. And then I can take a bungee that you would use just for high jump. I'll tie one side. So one side I'll tie through, but Here's the thing, if I'm jumping, I don't want this to trip my athlete. So first, if you have someone else, I'd have them just hold it. And if they clip it, you can just drop it, right? That's the ideal situation. If you don't have that, if you're just by yourself or if you're coaching and there's a lot of athletes going, you can wrap it around. And then I would just put a small hinge like that. So literally if it's touched, it'll just pop. So all you're doing is looping it around once, folding, and then just a little thing. So as soon as it touches, it pops. So I'll show you this example. Fold through, touch. So if this is touched, it'll pop. And I'll show you this example. I'm actually gonna touch this so you can see how it'll fall. But this is what I'm trying to do now. Just boom, 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 boom. Now touch it and you can see it whips off. So that's the obstacle takeoffs. You can use this for a lot of different versions of takeoffs. And I'll show you when we get to flight and landing, obstacle landing drills. It's actually using obstacles to work on this. But I love this drill because you can literally shift this out here. So if you're working on getting into your landing phase early, part of your flight phase, all kinds of different drills you can use for obstacle takeoffs. Um, and I like to do this with a short approach. So I'm doing maybe six steps max, um, but you can do this with different variations depending on what you're trying to work on.